Hey, welcome back. I think you probably noticed that I like playing around with parallax images just because I love movement, especially anything that doesn't like have too heavy impact on your page loading or your insights or things like that, videos and stuff. But I do like to play around and I like things to be a little bit creative and a little bit funky and just make the user go, oh, I really like that. So we're gonna do a parallax image where I've got some images off Canva with some grunge circle effects and a picture of a lady as well. And I'm gonna just show you how we can do a really simple effect over here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a section. And we're gonna go in here and set the uh, the layout to be, uh, well, we're gonna go with boxed. And the boxed width I'm gonna set to be 500 because that's what the contents will be within, okay? And the columns gap will be none. And the I'm gonna say fit to screen, okay? I'm just going with a fit to screen effect here. I'm gonna go with the style, I'm gonna go to the background type, and rather than add a color, I'm going to add in a image. Here we go, we have the image. Sometimes I wish that WordPress would have the insert media button up here, because you don't have to scroll down to get to it, but that's just me being me. I'm gonna set this to be a center center. Uh, it's going to be a scroll, fix scroll. It's gonna be a scroll, and it's gonna be a no repeat, and we're gonna go with cover, okay? Just so we get the full effect, okay? And we're not going to add any scrolling effects or any motion effects to this at the moment. So this basically is just going to look like that. Okay, right. Now inside here is where we're going to add in like some of the effects. In fact, what I will do though before I do that is I will add a background overlay to the background as well. I'm going to go for a dark and we're just going to darken this up just a little bit like that. So we can see the person there. Okay, now this is where we are gonna overlap images and then create the parallax effect. So let's add in image number one, like so. So the background image for this, the image that's gonna be, well, when I say the background, there's a layering effect of images that we're gonna have here, okay? So this lady here will be the lady right at the front. Then we will have the circles, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then right at the back, we're gonna have this cross. So I'm gonna put the cross in now first, like so. There we go, right, so that's in now. Now I'm gonna set this to be a full, and I'm gonna to go to this style, and I'm gonna say that this is 100%, okay? Because I actually built this all using uh, 500 by 500 pixels in Canva, so I, I, I don't care, I, I'm happy for it to be 500 by 500, because that's what we've set for this boxed width anyway. Okay, what I then do, and this is the bit you gotta pay a bit of attention to, okay? You go to advanced, you go to positioning, and I'm gonna say that this is custom positioning, okay? So it's now custom. I then go to content, and I'm gonna set this to be, um, sorry, wrong one, not the image, column, layout, and I'm gonna go to horizontal and say center. That is now in the center. And I'm now just gonna set the percentage for this to be, whoops, not 100, there we go, 100 like that, okay? Don't worry about what happens next, we are gonna overlap them, okay? I'm now gonna make a copy of this image here. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate it so I get two X's. I'm gonna go to my navigator. Navigator, there we go. This image, okay, which is the first one, I'm just gonna call it cross. This image, I'm gonna call outer circle, okay? Just so I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna click the second image, click the image, obviously, and bring this image over. Now the outer circle is below, transparent, okay? And what we have to do is, it's still a custom positioning, it is still set to 100%, but I'm now gonna make the position be absolute, okay? It is gonna be absolute for this section, right? If you do fixed, right, it will fix and it will be there. No matter how much you scroll up and down, it's gonna be this ridiculous size on the page, okay? I'm gonna leave it as absolute, okay? So it's kind of absolute to that section and there. I'm now gonna duplicate that one and call this one Inner Circle. They used to be a band, didn't they? Inner Circle, they did that song. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Right, we're gonna pick this, uh, we're gonna pick a different image now, and just insert that. And that now is just picking up all the settings that we had before, so it's got the custom positioning, it's got the absolute, and that's why sometimes you do it well once, you just duplicate, do, 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 do and kind of like away you go, really. Um, we're now going to duplicate this again, and this image we're now going to pick. Maybe I could have messed around with this image a little bit more in terms of the lighting, the lighting's not great, so let's go to the opacity. 
we just make it a little bit brighter. Can we do something with the contrast? I think maybe if we do something like that, okay. Um, thinking about it, I now think the darker redder background does actually help. So I'm gonna go back to my section, go back to my style, go back to my background overlay, click this color. Um, in fact, I'm gonna go with a gradient overlay. So we'll go with, uh, we'll go with red at the top, and we'll go black at the bottom, and we'll go with something like that. And I think that's uh, opacity. Uh... Yeah, I think that's okay. I think that's all right. I think that's working now a little bit better for us, okay? So at the moment, as you scroll up and down, we've just got this image. It's not much of a parallax effect going on here. What we could have done to add a bit of parallax is go back to our background and put a fixed in like so. Okay, so as you now move up and down, the lady, you know, you can see her behind and as the colors change as well. You might have a bit of text, like a pop, you know, not pop, pop, sorry. You might have a button that sits underneath maybe, you know, um, you know, get ready for action. Or, you know, you might have a title that says fight or, you know, watch out or something like that. Okay, but at the moment, this isn't really doing much of a parallax other than the background. Right, now let's do some motion effects. Let's go, in fact, I just need to rename this to be uh, Lady. Okay, so um, this is why it helps naming stuff in your navigator. Otherwise, you just have circles, so image, 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 which can get confusing. So we're going to go to the cross first, okay? We're going to go to motion effects, and I'm going to go to scrolling effects, okay? So the scrolling effects, we're going to have a, um, we're going to go for a scale one. So I've just messed around with the settings over here and I've got scale up minus two and I've decreased the viewpoint as well to be about 40 to 67 ish. So when you now scroll down, the um, those crosses actually shrink. So I'm gonna reverse it and go with scale down instead. So if we now go like this, as you scroll down, it's gonna get bigger. And I think we might wanna be a bit more dramatic with that. So if I go for minus four, yeah, that's, that's a little bit better now with the cross kind of growing out a little bit. In fact, I'm probably going to go down like that. We'll go there and then you get it coming out. So we get a bit more of this effect there with this, with its, uh, it kind of, it's a bit weird because like, it feels like it's scaling up, but in fact, it's doing that. So as you scroll down, the cross will kind of shoot out a bit more. We're going to go for the outer circle. Okay, we're going to go for motion effects, scrolling effect, and I'm going to now go for a rotate. So at a minute, it rotates to the left. I'm going to say rotate to the right. I'm going to go with the speed two. Let's just see what happens. There you go. It's kind of, you can see the rotate effect there, yeah? Um, let's go with the inner circle. I should have done this at the start, so it just brings it through. We go to background, scrolling effect. When this time we're going to go for rotate again. We're going to go to the right, and I'm going to increase this now to be a speed of about five. So let's just see what happens. Okay, so we're getting a little bit, can you see what's happening there? We are getting this effect now as you scroll up and down. What about the lady? Well, this one's gonna be a little bit different. There's no rotation going on here, okay? So as you scroll down, she becomes bigger. Um, I mean, what I would say though is that is, she is kind of growing up as you get, as she's now disappearing off the page. So you might wanna think about her placement just a little bit there. So I'm just gonna go to her, uh, the, uh, the not the advanced tab, the the positioning tab. And even though it's absolute, I'm just gonna vertically offset her just a little bit like that. So as, as she, as you scroll up, you know, she's kind of now, she's growing in line with the page there. So let's just hit update, right? Let's go to responsive mode and just see what happens in the mobile. Well, it, it's still gonna work by the way, okay? You know, you just gotta mess around now with your, um, I mean, it's not gonna work much because there's nothing below here. So let me just add in another section below. Let me just make the height of this section be ridiculously huge. So as I now scroll up and down, you're gonna see that things are still moving. This is where you now do have to play around with your page and your layout. So this is where fit to screen, you know, because of the content, it's only gonna fit based on the content within. So I would say that um, you're gonna have to go with, um, a minimum height in this case. So I'm gonna go with a height of about that for the mobile and for the desktop, I'm going to increase it to be about there. Okay, so let's now just see what this looks like, right? So on the desktop, it's actually shrunk massively small there. 
But as you scroll up and down, can you see now she's growing? And you can have some text above or below. And you see there's movement going on there. And if we go to the mobile, let's just increase the width there to be about there. Look, you're getting the same effect going on there, okay? So that is just a really dirty, simple way of doing a parallax effect just by using some um, images, no code, no extra plugin, transparent images, and then you just start to mess around with kind of like um, what you're doing. And you could have some wording that sits behind it, by the way, okay? I've, I haven't put any wording in, you could put some wording in. We did a video on not um, outline wording uh, that sits behind it. You could do all of that with this as well. Look, I hope this helps you. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'm Imran from Web Squadron, helping you with Elemental and WordPress. Um, take care and I'll see you soon.